Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome into my kitchen. This is Sheila. And I have a wonderful recipe here that I want to share. And I have my chicken here that I bought. So I washed it, rinsed it a couple of times. So with my chicken, I like to cut off some of that fat. Because what we are going to do is take this chicken and we are going to put it into the air fryer. So I'm going to cut off of some of this stuff I don't want on my chicken. And I did. And sometimes the chicken have something like this on it at the end of the drumstick. So you might want to cut that off. Make sure you cut some of this. I don't want it fat off of it because we're going to put this chicken into the air dryer. Air fryer. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I said air dryer. No, air fryer. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and season it up for you. So what we're gonna do, I got a little butter here. So we're gonna take this butter and just put it all over this chicken and base it in butter. Now, if you don't want to use butter, you always can use something like olive oil. So then I got all my season here that we are going to add on to our chicken because we're going to take this and put it in the air fryer and we're just going to roast this baby guys so turn her over and we got all of our season and our butter on our chicken So when you're doing your chicken like this, guys, get prepared to clean up afterwards because you're going to make a mess. So as you can see, we have our chicken all seasoned up here. And let me turn it around so you can see it. We got a nice chicken here. Very nice. Look at that. We got all that season and butter all over this chicken. So we're going to go ahead and put this chicken into the air fryer. Let me turn it around so you can see it, guys. Look at that. Look at that. So... Let's go ahead and put that baby into the air fryer. As you can see, guys, I have prepared my chicken to go into the air fryer. So what I did is I kind of joined the legs together. And so you could buy this um, string, thread, whatever you want to call it at any marketplace. And you can always do that to your Cornish hens, chicken, or your turkey. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and put this in the air fryer. Okay, so we have our air fryer ready to go. I have set the temperature to 425. And I am going to go ahead and add some more minutes on to this. I want to cook my chicken for 25 minutes. So we are gonna roast this chicken on 425. Actually guys, I'm gonna take it down a notch. So we're gonna put it on 400. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that chicken in there, guys. So we're going to go ahead and add our chicken into... Oh, boy, look at all these goodies down here, guys. Wow. 
we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken into our air fryer, guys. And then we're gonna turn it on. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put our air fryer in to cook. And we got our temperature set. We're gonna cook it for 25 minutes. Also guys, if your recipe come out, whatever, your chicken, your vegetables, and they are not done or not to your likings, you could always put it back in the air fryer and start the process all over again and cook your food a little longer. So let's go ahead and start up. There we go. So guys, I'll be back in about 25 minutes and let you see how our chicken came out. And this is a really fast recipe that you can prepare um, before you go to work. You can um, put your recipe into the air fryer while you're getting dressed, actually. So, Guys, if you don't own an air fryer, buy you one, guys. This is a good investment. I think these are really, really good. One of my sons bought this one for me. Um, so I enjoy it. All right, guys, I'll see you when our recipe get done. Okay, guys, our chicken is pretty much done. Look at that, guys. It got stuck in him. Let's see, guys. Oh, wow. All right, guys. Our temperature was set at 400. And we took this chicken in the air fryer for about 25 minutes. There you go, guys. Let's see. I wanted you to see this chicken. So let's scoot this over. Look at that. Wow.